And what creates hate is not knowing who we are. And a lot of it is because we don't know our story. We don't know the value we have in our story. That each and every one of us has a value. And, and that value is, is responsibility. Welcome to TSI 2018. The energy that we need to create change or that leads to change is listening, learning, open eyes, fresh eyes, maybe laughing as well. Let us pause in life's pleasures and count its many tears while we all sup sorrow. It's not enough to call for change. Change is forever imminent and change will come. But only when that life now lived as death rejects its pain and sings its own resolve. They try to bury us, but they don't know we are seeds. The power in this piece is on, on the ground. Keep looking down. This is where the life and the creativity is. The future is here, creating the future. Inviting ourselves and each other into creating something that has never um, been done before. Music bright and gay, there are frail forms waiting. What wants to grow in your settings, in your family, in your own life, in your work, in your civic life? What wants to grow? Oh, hard times. And it is inspired by the treaty of the land that we're on, of the dish with one spoon. So if we don't go deeper in our understanding and our stretching of what belonging, what inclusion actually truly means, we are removing the possibility for something that really is about reclaiming what has been lost or to create something, a possibility of something that is beyond what we can even imagine right now. How does this conversation need to shift in order to build a bigger we? Hi, I'm Al, first time caller. We talked about uh, building a bigger we is also about building a smaller they. As we tear down the fences, we can take that material, that wood, and use it to build a bigger table. Welcome to Monday of the Toronto Summer Institute. Don't tell me to be calm when there are so many reasons to be angry, so much cause for despair. I didn't say to be calm, said the wind. I said to breathe. 
we're going to need a lot of air to make this hurricane together. I actually thought about uh, naming this book What I Learned at TSI. I hate to admit it, she told him. I was always a glasses empty, a glasses half empty kind of person until I needed to use a wheelchair. That made me stop making snap judgments about people. The young black man laughed. Well, that would do it, all right. My earliest memories in terms of building a bigger we would be my mother when I was about six or seven. In the summer times, we'd get let out of the house to uh, my brother and I to go play in the, on the playground, which was a couple of streets over, and she would always give us two peppermints. That'd be one for, one for me and one for the person I was going to meet. I just asked people a pretty simple question, which is, would you mind telling me your long story? Two people develop a relationship and get to know each other really well, likes and dislikes. But outside of that, people begin to open their circles, their homes, and invite people in. So we're talking about a bigger we that once again started from that one-to-one -one relationship and connection, and now it's a bigger conversation. Tuesday invites us to genuinely let go. To embody this sense of curiosity and appreciation for the people we find ourselves with. Somewhere in us a dignity presides that is more gracious than the smallness that fuels us with fear and force. A dignity that trusts the form a day takes. So at the end of this day, we give thanks for being betrothed to the unknown and for the secret work through which the mind of the day and the wisdom of the soul become one. Keep singing, keep dancing, keep fighting. Bring on the glitter, bring on the joy. to what we heard in the bigger sessions in the beginning in the mornings we reflected a lot on that that statement that was made um, and when you're building a bigger we you realize that this is there's no other so I'm taking away the idea of continuing to be curious and not stopping at what might seem to be how can we get away from the rules and regulations and really have the opportunity to change people's lives. That um, we have to have the balance between really being caring and supportive of one another, but also, um, also not being afraid to reach out and to be innovative and explore and create new things together. And I came here with a bit of a heavy heart because I didn't really know uh, which way it was going. So now I'm <clears throat> loaded with ideas that will keep me going for, I think, a year or so. Then I'll have to come back, I think. You might have heard them say some words in there, so they did say, walk with me because we always need someone to walk with us. Oh, miigwech. What does it mean to bury something? What are the processes that one must go through? 
please do not bury anything that is still alive. We struggle to bury stuff. We don't check to see if it's dead or not. It creeps right back in. What I'm burying today, and hopefully will never come back to haunt me, is the idea of self-imposed limitations. Welcome to the world. Congratulations. It's a we. We walk away now and just reflect and digest the knowledge we'll now inject to change the world and what we see as we strive to build a bigger we. Ask what's possible, not what's wrong. Keep asking. Be brave enough to start a conversation that matters. Talk to people you know. Talk to people you don't know. Be intrigued by the differences you hear. Expect to be surprised. Treasure curiosity more than certainty. Know that creative solutions come from new connections. Remember, you don't fear people whose story you know. Trust that meaningful conversations can change your world. Rely on human goodness. Stay together. <laughs>